exquisitely choreographed, like between the sound projection, like a very holistic experience, like it's marvelously done overall. Oh, I think it was just so phenomenal. It was so realistic, and it just it just grabbed my heart. I mean, I was just right there. It's great to see in a natural environment like this, too, just with the clouds rolling in and everybody running around everywhere, and it was, it was excellent. I was comple completely transported in time 2,000 years ago. It was great. Um, I think it feels like you're actually there, and it makes it just more real, and like it kind of feels like it's the Bible coming alive, so it's pretty awesome. <laughs> the Badlands is a powerful kind of landscape um, of itself, because you can see time layered all the way through the hills, right? So to connect that kind of timelessness with a biblical story is really powerful. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. You know, this year it was based on John. Last year, I can't remember exactly, but there was a different take on it. But it was just fabulous. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to see it from different perspectives. I was actually a formal, former actor in the show, and I was an actor with the old script. It was so different, you couldn't compare the two, and so this was like a new experience for me. And I was walking in it, like, a, like a, it's just a new experience, and it was fantastic. <laughs> I think more than ever this story has become epic in the way we're telling it now and it, it envelops you. I mean scenes that, that are expansive and fill this whole valley as opposed to a little, we used to have these little scenes in different parts and now because it's so expansive I think you feel more and more like you're part of it, of what's going on. I was completely immersed in the moment, moment by moment by moment and I, I, I was moved even the very first time that Jesus came out and um, the two kids, the two children came out and he picked them up and lifted one of them in the air and I was moved to tears. I think when Jesus came out and he was all scarred and just imagining how he was like beaten and stuff like that and it's really like makes you um, understand how much he loves you. And I think the end is awe-inspiring. Awe you realize that the whole the story is epic and at the end when all the religious leaders fall to their knees before Christ, it's that's an amazing moment for me. It makes me think that I need to read the story again, not just at Easter. We read the, the gospel stories in the Bible on our own, and it's it's two-dimensional version. And seeing it this way, it brings it into 3D perspective. And it just, what I, what I really thought, what really struck me here when I was watching it was every part of it fits. It all rings true. And it just gives you such a feeling when you see it come alive like that. It's just amazing.